Hey guys, it was Lumber Jill, and we're back doing some Q&A this week. At, I was about to say early in the morning, but it's almost 10, and I, I just, I need some more light, don't I? Don't do that. That is better. Um, so I actually forgot to remind you guys the Q&A was going on, so this is actually a little light on questions this week, but that's my bad, so... Uh, well, I'll try to make sure I do a better job of um, <coughs> reminding you guys that we're doing Q and A's um, every Wednesday, so make sure you send in your questions. Uh, but let's look at what we got here. So, little princess pussy asked um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? There's there's too many. Um, I think <laughs> I think uh, I think if I really had to nail it down, I would probably say the ability to manifest um, physical things through the power of thought. I think that would pretty much cover it. <laughs> Um, cause then I could just, I could just think the, the sex toys into existence. I, uh, you know, I could think up food for hungry, starving people or build somebody a house just by thinking about it or, uh, money or, you know, whatever, whatever else. So I think that would probably be the most, they would probably have the most utility, um, yeah, yeah, I think I think they all cover it. Um, and she actually asked another question from last week. I wanted to get to uh, what do you do in your downtime to relax? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I don't. I've been trying to take more downtime these days because this. Uh, you know what what I do and the way that I do it is is very uh, time consuming um, especially because I'm trying to do all this on my own um, you know I, I make the toys I do the marketing I'm uh, in charge of my own social media I've got a um, I'm in charge of all my own finances and things like that so uh, there's every day is pretty full and uh, not really that much downtime, uh, or, or at least I try not to let there be that much downtime, but usually when I do get nap time, I'm taking a nap. Um, <laughs> taking a nap, listening to some music. Um, uh, I play video games from time to time. I mostly play um, a first-person shooter called Dirty Bomb right now, because it's just, it's just nice to hop into a game and um, shoot some people in the face in a game. Uh <laughs> Uh, but it's a it's a fun game and uh, that that's that helps me unwind a little bit. So that's that's mostly what I do in my downtime. But even even when I call myself taking downtime, I'm like drawing up new ideas for toys and uh, researching things I'd like to try with the toys. So there's not really a lot of real downtime. Uh, but thanks for your questions. Let's see uh, what else we got here. Uh, go go Hachiko. Um, wanted to know uh, what is my favorite wood to work with, or do I have a favorite wood to work with? I actually have two. Um, one is black cherry. Um, it's a light colored wood. It's it's another one that's it's a domestic wood to the United States, and uh, it uh, it's it's pretty forgiving. Um, it it takes dye very well. Uh, it's fairly easy to work by hand. Um, and it it really smooths out very nicely with sanding. Uh, so that's probably what you're gonna see me use most of the time in my toys from now on. Uh, but the other toy, the, the other wood that I prefer to use is black walnut, uh, which is a, a a darker colored wood uh, with um, very brown, <laughs> uh, lots of uh, brown tones, lots of earthy tones to it. And uh, it, again, it's it's another one of those domestic woods that's considered a hardwood, but it's very forgiving uh, when you work with it by hand. 
Um, really, those are. I guess those are my favorites, but they're. I guess they're too. They're really easy to work with, is is why I like them most of all. Um, and they're very versatile. I'm trying to think of an exotic wood that I like to work with. Um, the exotic woods tend to be very dense and hard, which makes them harder to work with. But they finish so nicely. Um, they they sand up ridiculously smooth to the point where all, they almost feel like polished stone. Um, I'm trying to think of a wood that I really really enjoy working with. This exotic. I can't think of any. They they all kind of fit into the same category for me. I guess once you start getting into exotics, they're all they're all hard and dense and and beautiful, and um, finish very well. So that's kind of the that's kind of the best I have on that. But um, yeah, thanks for your question. Uh, that's really all the questions I had for the week. So again, you know, I'll try to do a better job of um, just reminding people. Hey, I do I'm doing Q and A's every Wednesday. Drop a comment down below uh, with your question, and uh, I'll get back to you guys on every Wednesday. So, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.